Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a few locations that the black powder pistol spawns in inside Fallout 76, as well as showing you the vendor that sh sells the plans so you can make the black powder pistol yourself. So with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this guide. All right, guys, so let's start this guide off by showing you where the plans for the black powder pistol are, which will be sold to you by a vendor at the White Spring Resort. Now, if you need Volt 76 for reference, that's way up here. Now, once you get to the White Spring Resort, it's going to look a little something like this, and you're just going to kind of want to follow the path I uh, head on and just kind of come through the front door here. All right, guys, once you come through here, you will see a thing that says lower lobby shops. You're simply going to want to head on down the stairs. And once you head on down the stairs, you're just going to want to go uh, straight on this way. Keep on going. You will come to a place that says La Grand Gourmet, and you're immediately going to want to turn around and head into a place called Black Powder. Here, you will find a vendor known as Flintlock. All you have to do is simply activate his trade window. Now, once you activate his trade window and his tough actually pops up, slide yourself on over to notes and right in notes will be your black powder pistol. It's going to cost 460 caps. Now, keep in mind, I don't have anything to do with charisma or caps or trading, so it costs significantly more for me and may cost a little less for you depending on what perks you have. Now, let's move on to a couple of locations you could actually find this. Alright guys, the first location you can go to to get a black powder pistol is the Philippi Battlefield Cemetery located right here on your map. Now if you need Vault 76 for reference, that's way over there. Now once you guys get over here to Philippi Battlefield Cemetery, it's going to look a little like this and all you're going to want to do is follow the path that I take. Now there's a couple of locations it could spawn and I'm going to show you those. So the first one is going to be in these containers behind here. You guys can see black powder pistol. How you open these containers is by simply using that uh, button there. Now uh, once you guys grab your black powder pistol from there or if you can't find it there, head up, head up on upstairs. And right here, activate this button, and usually in this one right here is another black powder pistol. But if it's not there, another location you could look is right here, as there is always a black powder pistol in there. Anyways, let's move on to the next location. Alright guys, so the place you are going to want to go to get a black powder pistol, or another black powder pistol, is Harper's Ferry located right here. Now, once if you guys need more reference, I apologize. Harper Ferry located right here on your map. And if you need Vault 76 for reference, that's way up there. But once you guys find Harper's Ferry, it's going to look a little like this. And you guys are just going to kind of want to follow the path I take. You will see kind of this little chapel looking thing. It's a museum, I guess. Head on into the museum and inside one of the display cases here will be your black powder pistol along with a bunch of ammo next to it and all you guys have to do is simply pick that up and take that along with all the ammo. Keep in mind there is a decent amount of ammo here so uh, just be sure to grab all those little silver balls. Also black powder rifle and a tomahawk if you want that as well. Anyways, that's how you get the black powder pistol inside Fallout 76. Those are two locations that I know it definitely spawns consistently. If you don't get it from these locations, simply server hop until it spawns there. And that is the only vendor that I know that sells the black powder pistol, so I hope you guys did enjoy this guide. If you did, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. Anyways, love each and every single one of you. Hope to see you guys right back here in the next video. But until then, remember to stay freaky and bye-bye everybody. Thank you for watching and see you next time.